Japan is among coaches, Vittori Isufi, earliest videos. The flag, waving calmly under an almost hypnotic melody of Leonard Cohen's The Well-Known Hallelujah, derides a local tradition long out of practice in the urban areas, still existing, however, in rural Kosovo. It is about celebrating a woman's virginity after her first marital night by exposing the couple's white sheet stained with blood, and evidence of the female's purity toward the family that will welcome her. The flag, metaphorically alluding to Japan's flag through its iconography, questions the relevance of traditional customs in contemporary society. BK you know, landlords would outrightly say, no foreigners. Yeah, I notice when I go in stores and stuff, I'm followed around, like, real close and stuff. And I notice they don't do that for other people, so yeah. I don't think I'll ever find a job. <laughs> I think Japanese are a bit lonely people. Even though I grew up in Japan, living here is a, quite a challenge for me. So I can only imagine what it is like for foreigners. So today I'm going out on the streets asking foreigners about the struggles and challenges they face in Japan. Let's go. Okay, so what struggles have you had living in Japan just in the past few weeks? Like, for example, wearing masks because mm. uh, many of the foreigners, they, you know, in Europe, they don't wear masks anymore. Right, and right. so here, if I have a mask on, I don't have a mask, I get those looks of like, oh, right. she's not wearing a mask or right, something right. like this. So Look at me, I'm sweating. <laughs> it is so hot in Japan and like especially working in a corporate Japanese environment where yeah. everyone's wearing a suit and tie. I'm literally coming to work drenched in sweat and no one else in Japan sweats. I thought Australia was pretty hot too. Yeah, but everyone sweats in Australia. <laughs> no one sweats here in Japan. I didn't get right. that Asian gene. Born in 1982 in Gajilan, she lives and works in Pristina. She graduated from the Faculty of Arts at the University of Pristina. Her work is conceptually based using painting, video, installation, text and performance. She is inspired by stories and different interpretations, political maneuvers and cultural speculations, patriarchal mentality and casual gestures, the limits of freedom and forms of censorship. This is the reason she almost constantly keeps notes, as a way of reflecting on the social, historical, cultural, and political climate of the country she works in. Her work has been exhibited in numerous projects as well as solo and group exhibitions both nationally and internationally. She is the co-founder of the Autostrada Biennale, International Contemporary Art Biennale.